Hey, what's going on, Sam Rice, and welcome to today's video. I am Sam, and in today's video, I want to talk about how to use Photoshop to batch edit multiple videos at one time. Now, to do this, we're going to use Photoshop Actions and the Batch command. So let me give you the scenario that happened to us. So we had a client come to us and they're redoing their website and they're adding videos to every single product they sell on their website. So they went to their manufacturers and their manufacturers sent them product videos for every one of the products they sell. But they want to brand those videos with their trademarks and logos. So they want to add a beginning and ending to every video. But if I was to try to go in and literally take thousands of videos and put an ending and beginning on each one of those videos, then have to click file, save, export, and go through that whole process, that would literally take me hours and hours and hours of time. So that's why I chose to use Photoshop and Actions and the Batch commands to make our life simple. All right, let's hop over to our other screen so I can show you exactly what we're doing. So the first thing we need to do is get everything set up. So you can see right here, here is our end slate. So this is where the suggested videos and the subscribe button will pop up for you. The next folder, it contains all of the raw product videos that we're going to want to process. And then here is their little opening animation that they want to play before every single video. And of course, last but not least, is the file where all of our finished videos will end up. All right, now let's open up Photoshop and let me show you how to set up the actions. All right, Samurai, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up our raw video folder. Then we're going to select one of the raw videos and we're going to drag that video down to our Photoshop icon and let that video open up inside of Photoshop. Now we need to make an action. To make an action, we can go over to the little action button right here. If you don't see that, just go up to Window and go to Actions, and that will open up the action palette as well. Once the action palette has opened, we need to create a new action. To create a new action, just come down to this little button right here, which is the create new action button and click on it. It will open this little sub panel and this is where you can name your new action and then click record. Once you click record, you will know your action is recording because the little record light will turn red. So that means everything we're doing inside of Photoshop right now is being recorded for our action. So now we're ready to bring in our beginning and ending. So we're going to make sure that we're on our video layer down here. P.S. This is our timeline. If you don't see the timeline, just go up to window and select timeline to make that open. This is going to be very important that your timeline is open for the next few steps. So we're ready to bring in our opening. So we're going to come over, click on our opening animation and drag it onto our canvas and then click the little plus button. And then we're going to click on our ending and we're gonna drag that onto our canvas and then click the little plus button again. Now I'm going to shrink our timeline so we can see everything right here. So here's our opening. We're gonna drag that to the beginning and we're gonna make sure that that is placed in front of our video. And then here's our ending, which I'm going to extend out to about 20 seconds. That way people have enough time to see it. So let me just get it right at about 20 seconds. So now that we have our beginning and ending in place, we are now ready to render out our video. So we're gonna come down to the little render button right here, and I'm going to choose the folder I want our videos to save to. So I'm gonna to go to the uh, finished video folder, and I'm gonna click choose. And I'm gonna make sure that my video format is H.264 for me because we're uploading them right to YouTube. And I'm going to click render and I'm gonna let that process take place and we'll come back as soon as it's done. All right, now that the video has finished exporting, we can now click the stop button on our action. So the next step to batch process all of these videos is to go up to file, automate, batch, make sure that we choose the action that we created. So we just made action one, so we're on action one. So now we need to choose the folder where all of our videos that we want to batch process are located. So we're gonna to go to choose, we're gonna to go to desktop, and we're gonna to go to our raw video folder. So these are all of our raw product videos, and we're going to choose that whole folder. And then all I need to do is press okay, and let Photoshop go to work. As soon as this is done, I will be right back with you guys. So now Photoshop is done batch processing all of our videos. So if I come over to our finished video folder and I open it up, you will see here are all of our videos. And if I click on one of the videos, you will see the videos now have our beginning and ending added onto them. 
All right, Samurais, I hope this helps you guys. If it did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're brand new around here and check out my channel for the first time, make sure you go down and click that subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions about today's video, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And until next time, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.